Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. It is October. It is the... It is the seventh of Halloween, because a Halloween is a month long. I think what I am going to create is I am going to create the Pumpkin Sun. If you guys know of the legendary Skeleton War, the skeletons getting recruited for the Skeleton War, and I'm going to create a giant pumpkin, essentially. Or I want, what I want to do, I want to create a pumpkin sun, a sun that is made out of pumpkins. This is, <laughs> how do you make a sun that is made out of pumpkins? Well, we are going to start with a somewhat sizable object. Like, let's see here. Um, let's start with this probe that is 1000 kilograms. And this is going to be our starting object. It's very tiny, very tiny. I'm gonna put it between Earth and Mars. And see if I can uh, zoom in on this thing here. There it is, super tiny. So we are going to launch a jack-o'-lantern for the pumpkins. Here we go. Pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern dark, and we have jack-o'-lantern US America. All right, all right. So let's launch this. Oh, I like it. I like it. And it's spinning. Can I slow down the spin? Yes, I can slow down the spin. Oh my god. So every single pumpkin that we are launching at this uh, object... I'm actually going to slow this down even, even more here. <laughs> Just spin it like a basketball. Spin it like a basketball. Then I can slow it down by going to the other side. Slow it down, then make the spin go the opposite direction. There we go. Have I really screwed up the orbit? Okay, I've made it a little bit eccentric, but not really. I want to try tilting the orbit. I'm going to use my Kerbal Space Program skills here, and I am going to make it become so tilted that it will be pretty much at a vertical angle, a 90 degree angle relative to the sun. So let's just fire this downward. All right, use those Kerbal Space Program skills. All right, so we're at 1500 kilograms. We need this thing to be so much more massive. Like just, let's just, uh, let's just compare some objects here. If I want this thing to be the pumpkin sun, a legitimate star, let's just take the mass of the earth, actually. The mass of the earth is something, something, something times 10 to the 24th power kilograms. The mass of this thing is something, something, something times 10 to the third power kilograms. We need many, many more zeros added to the mass of this thing, and I don't think pumpkins are really uh, going to do the job. I, I will keep adding some mass for just a little bit longer, but I think I'm going to have to crash other things into this thing so that it can become more massive a lot quicker. Otherwise, I think I might not be here. Uh, I think this video might not be over by the end of my lifetime. Okay, yes! Okay, that's what I am going to do. We are going to launch giant, giant jack-o'-lanterns at the pumpkin sun, and then we're going to... <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> and they're gonna get progressively bigger over time. Oh, and then they merge! <laughs> oh my god. It's just going inside it. There's not even an explosion, it's just... Okay! Whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. I think it. I think it got added. Now it's at almost four thousand kilograms. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Oh my God! There actually was an impact thing. It's just for some reason still going inside. Oh, now it's getting lit up in there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's great. All right, we're gonna do three at once here. All right, so uh, ten thousand. Let's do fifteen thousand kilograms. 50,000 kg, oh my god! Are these things even gonna be like bit like big enough to be in between each other? No, they're not! They're going to impact each other! Oh my god. Do they have their own gravitational pull? They are colliding into each other! <laughs> and then, oh my, I wonder if they're gonna skid here. Look at the shockwave that's just going around these things. Combine into one super pumpkin! Oh, this is cool. Converge! Become one with the pumpkin sun, my worthy sacrifices! Yes! Oh god, look at this mass just increase so much. Expand, 
Expand! 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 <laughs> oh, and then they just went all in you. Oh! This thing, I think this thing is on a solar escape trajectory here. I think, uh... I think we're gonna have to prograde, or sorry, retrograde. We need to knock this thing back into the solar system, otherwise it's not gonna be able to fuck with the planets. I'm really hoping this thing will eventually get its own gravitational pull, and we can see how the pumpkin sun is going to mess with the orbits of the other planets. It's gonna wreak havoc, and it's something that I created myself! It's my own child! Oh my god, and the impact is starting. Look at that mass slowly increase as it's getting engulfed. <laughs> oh, that's a good view right there. Look at that. The jack-o'-lantern is all... It's a jack-o'-lantern with a fro right here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah. It's in a very elliptical orbit. I think if I can get one more... It's, I mean, it's almost at the periapsis here. I just need to keep it circular. Keep the orbit circular. It is losing mass. What's going on here? The mass is going backwards. What the hell? Oh shit, I made it go in the opposite direction! That's what happens, I brought its velocity to a slow. Oh, what? I made the pumpkin sun <laughs> stop its orbit and now it's just going straight towards the sun in free fall. Oh my god. This is the pumpkin eclipse. Alright, we're just gonna correct our orbit and that should correct the masses. I think there's just a glitch in the game where if you start going into retro orbits and for some reason subtracts the mass, that doesn't make any sense to me. This is- the pumpkin sun is 80% water because we have added so much plant material to this. I'm assuming they're probably made of mostly water. <laughs> it's resulted in a big body. <laughs> That's 80% water. <laughs> when this thing cools down, it'll be a big ice planet. Very, very dense, or actually not very dense. Okay, this thing is doing a really big flyby of the sun right now. Alright, we're launching a 10 million kilogram pumpkin at the sun. Will the sun be able to survive? <laughs> the total velocity I am launching this thing at is ridiculous. 91.4 kilometers a second in relation to the sun, and we're just rocketing towards it. The sun is going to get progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> I'm still playing Kerbal Space Program while I'm playing this. Uh, we've got negative mass. Six, minus 65 million kilograms. Okay, uh, I think we're breaking the game now. I don't think the game is intended for me to have all this happening. <laughs> what the hell did I do? I guess I will create the pumpkin sun the easy way. I will spawn in the solar system and I am just going to make a pumpkin the mass of the sun. I'm just gonna place it where it was before. I'm gonna orbit it between Earth and Mars. Let's put a jack-o'-lantern right here. Just really zoom on this thing. Actually, let's just change the mass of it to be the mass of one sun. There we go. Oh! Okay! The pumpkin sun is the mass of one sun! And it is going to rule the solar system! There we go, there we go. We just need it to get hot. Let's see, let's let's launch one Earth at this thing. Okay, here's Earth right here. Okay, launch planet Earth. There we go, at the pumpkin sun. We need it to get hot. Make the pumpkin sun hot. I don't want 40 kilometers a second. Let's do 10 kilometers a second here. Okay, Earth. There we go, there we go. Let's do 5 kilometers a second. It's got special powers ready to rule the solar system. Are things, uh, or- Whoa! Oh my god, how, what happened? Oh, those are fragments of the Earth that are just kind of zigzagging around it. Yep, I'm, I'm safely uh, screwing up the solar system. What happened to the sun? Oh, the sun's right there. It's gonna fight for the solar system. We're gonna have the pumpkin sun versus the solar system. <laughs> you wanna know what this looks like? It looks like the pumpkin sun has its own force field now. Just these impacts. It's like, nope, no one could destroy the pumpkin sun. The shields are up. Oh my god, the Earth's actually gonna go right into the pumpkin sun. Oh, Earth proper is dead. Did the skeleton war take place on Earth? Because I think I just won the skeleton war. The pumpkin sun won the skeleton war by attracting the Earth and just sucking it up. The pumpkin sun was not pleased with the skeleton war. I am so sorry. What if I make it the mass of a hundred suns? Yes! The mass of 1,000 suns. Fantastic. I think, uh, the solar system is gonna be resting pieces soon. Uh, one- 10,000 suns. Yes. 
Yes, come here, son. Come here. Oh, boy. Oh! Wait a minute. No! Just because the sun supernovaed into the, the pumpkin sun. I'm gonna change it to the pumpkin sun. Pumpkin sun does not mean that the pumpkin sun is over. What is the temperature now? It's got a constant temperature now. It's the mass of over... Now, over 9,000 suns. <laughs> and we're right in the middle of a supernova nebula. <laughs> Nothing stops the pumpkin sun. We are going to engulf everything. Everything is just going inside the sun. And in and out and in and out. Come on. Engulf. Engulf your planets. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that 100 million suns? Oh, I actually made a hundred million suns. Oh, let's put, add another zero. Here we go, make it even bigger. We're gonna engulf this nebula. This is gonna get so massive. Times 10 to... Really? Times 10 to the 10 suns? 11? <laughs> 12? Yes? 13? 14? Oh my god! The pumpkin sun! <laughs> <laughs> and then gulf in the nebula! 15. Oh, shit. So, just think about this. We have the nebula from a supernova engulfing the pumpkin sun. And the pumpkin sun's, uh, kind of... It's kind of wrecked right now. Let's just make it even bigger. 16. 17. Oh, and I deleted it. <laughs> What's all this shit? The pumpkin sun has been defeated. It's just a bunch of asteroids out here. That was ridiculous. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I hope you guys had your fun witnessing the birth and the death of the pumpkin sun. <laughs>